Hey, Dad. How's it going? Hi, Dad. You okay? Oh. oh shit! Oh lord, tastes like London dry gin. Dad, my new car. You like it? Dad. Where did you get the money to buy this new car? Oh. Money. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Really? Dad, you remember Zico Ventures? Zico Ventures? You know, they were owing us. So they paid the money two days ago. So I decided to buy the car today. Oh, Dad, Dad you like it? That's an RX350. It's a Lexus. It's actually small. I wanted to buy a Range Rover. But, uh, you know, you have one. So I didn't want to go into a competition with you. So I decided to buy this. Uh, it's a small one, but it's okay. <laughs> so, you used the money paid into the company coffers by another company converted it to your own private use buying cars doing things mm -hmm. you have a problem with that you have a problem with it are you aware that this company is owned by two people my younger brother matthew and i oh yes <laughs> Absolutely, Dad. You're my father, and your brother is my uncle. So anything that belongs to you, belongs to me. And Dad, come on. I just bought a new car. I expected you to congratulate me. Come on, Dad. Really? I'm your son. Congratulate me. Okay, you're not going to congratulate me, so I'll, I'll just take a rest. That's fine. Dad, really? I mean, it's a Lexus. RX 350. Like I said, I wanted to buy a... Uh, GK. Yes, Dad. I'm here, Dad. Return this car to the dump, collect your money, pay Sam back into the company coffers. <laughs> really? GK. Return the car, get the money, pay back to the... Uh, yes, Your Majesty. That's fine. Joyce, I ask you again. Did you see the car your son bought? Yes, I saw it. It's a nice car. Is there anything wrong with that? I've already congratulated him. You congratulated him for buying a new car. Tell me. Did you ask him where he got the money with which he bought that car? I don't need to ask him. Because he is working in his own father's company as an accountant. I see. What's the salary of an accountant in that company? Maybe you don't know. Multiply that salary by 12. Multiply it by 24. That's two years. Multiply that salary by five years. Would it be able to buy that car? But you went ahead and congratulated your son for buying a new car. Joyce, your son dipped his hand into the coffers of the company, he used the money and bought a car. A company that is owned as you know. Owned by not just your husband, but owned by two people. Your husband and his younger brother. 
did you not think that this act would pit one brother against the other? Chiki, how can you do a thing like this? Did you want to liquidate the company? That car is very expensive. My, my friend, will you shut up? How much is the car so that someone will not rest in this house? Huh? Look, dad is our father and his brother, our uncle. So, what's the difference? Like, seriously, can you hear yourself talk? Why are you talking like this? Don't call my name again. Look, seriously, are we having this family meeting just because of a car? A car? Huh? Oh. Oh, Amaka, do you know you surprise me? Sometimes I begin to ask myself if really you are my daughter. Mm. Mommy, you gave birth to me, <laughs> so you know better. Now let me ask you. Why is it that each time good things come to your brother, you and your father here will see it as an abomination? What is the problem? Why? Mommy, let me ask you a question. Why do you support evil? What do you gain in supporting evil? Your son did something very wrong. Instead of cautioning him and asking him to return the car and bring back the company's funds, you sit here to support him. Is it fair? Uh. You have done what a daughter, a real daughter, a true daughter should do. Chike, I directed you to return that car to the car mat, claim back your money, and pay back same into the coffers of the company. You called me a king. You called your father king. You referred to your father as king. That king is going to do what kings do. I'm off to work. Dad! This man has gone there. Dad is talking to you. Daddy? No. <laughs> Is everything okay? Um, you look troubled. Everything is okay. Yeah, I guess you have somewhere you wanted to go to, right? Of course I'm off school. Okay. Off you go then. Okay. Um to have a nice day, Daddy. <laughs> I love you. Uh, same here. Daddy, don't make me 
commit me too much, okay? <laughs> Yes, it's a nice me. Uh huh. See, brother, I, 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 I think you should come to the city tomorrow. I need you in the city. Ah. Yes. My house. Uh. Well, you know, come anytime, anytime. I'm here. Yes. I don't mind. It's all right. All right. All right. Have a safe ride then. To tomorrow then. Uh, Matthew. All right, all right. You're in the office. That's great. That's good. Ah. Uh, no, my dear. I can't. I can't. I can't make office today. I just want to stay back at home. You know. Uh, see, Matthew, I I just called uh, our elder brother, Izuna. Yes, I asked him to be here tomorrow, and I want you in my house also tomorrow. Let's let's see. Let's have a tete a tete. Yes. All right. What is it? Huh? And who was that you were discussing with on phone? My dear, I'm worried. Worried? I'm much worried. Worried about what? My brother Uchi uh -huh. said that uh, I should come to the city tomorrow, early tomorrow, early morning. Tomorrow, kwa? Yeah, Uchi. I hope there is no problem. Well, I don't know, but from the way he's sounding on phone, I suspect, I suspect something is wrong somewhere. My, what could that be? Please, can I go with you tomorrow? No, 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 no. You're not going with me. Let me go first and know what the problem is. Stay in the house and take care of the house. Tomorrow. Okay, if you say so. Mm. What is it? You just left your hours for lesson and now you are back. So what happened? Mama, you're asking us if you don't know. Is it about your lesson fee? Yes, Mama, it's about the lesson fee. Mama, they say I should not come back to that lesson without their money. In fact, they practically flogged me out of the lesson hall. You mean the lesson teacher flogged you? Yes, Mama. Hey! Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your bag. I will go and see your uncle. Let me talk to him. Let's see if he can help us. Okay? Don't cry. Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your school bag. Mama, do whatever you can to give me the money. I wouldn't want to miss lesson again. Damn is around the corner. And Please I don't. say don't worry. Just go and drop your bag. Come and help me so that we'll prepare lunch. Let me go and see your uncle. Nine. She may have been crying since because she was sent out of the lesson hall. And the reason is that she has not paid her lesson fee. And the jam exams is fast approaching. It's around the corner. It's starting soon. Ah. Mm -hmm. So all these things you are, you are saying, now how is it my business? Please, I want you to give her the lesson fee. You know, since my husband, your brother died, Chimwendo and I have been passing through a whole lot. 
going through hardship. And you know I don't have any sound business that I'm doing for now. If I have, I would have given her the money. I wouldn't have come to you for that. Please help us. You want me to give you some money to pay for her listening fee? What for? Um, to go to the university. You want her to go to the university? Agnes, you want to cheat to, to go to the university? Hey. Now let me ask you. If we spend all this money for Chiwe, what will be our benefit? I mean, my benefit. Nine. Uh -uh. Why are you talking like this? I am talking like this because Chiwe is just a woman. She belongs to another man's family. Any money spent on her will be inherited by another man. So as you can see, spending money on her is a waste. Send her to go and learn the leg, and learn, her, learn her to walk. Uh, 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 uh. So you know, uh, her dress, you know. Nani, but... are you all right? Why are you talking like this? No, now is unfair. Uh -uh. How can you say that any money spent in training Chinua, our daughter, is going to be a waste? Simply because she's a woman. Uh, thank God we are beginning to understand that Chinua is just a woman, and that is the more reason I say that I will not spend my money on her. Shishi, what you come? Why you spend it? You will not spend your money on her. Nani. But let me tell you, we serve a living God. And the God we serve never forsake his own. Never leave his people. Soon you will celebrate Chiwan. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work. I have set my mind. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work. Too. Agnes, I was going to wear a bottle of Papa, Papa, I have voices. Who are you shouting at? Is it not that Agnes? She went to her mother. She came here asking me to give her money to pay for she went to lesson fee because she wants she went to go to the university. Can you imagine that? Ah, Papa, you would have given her the money now, eh? This thing you are doing to Chiwen's family is not fair, oh. Eh, you are being unnecessarily stingy. Nya, aka gum. Aka gum, aka chi chi chi. Papa. Kede ba muta nere. Kede ba muta nere. Ongi le kuye. Come on. Mama, go back. How did it go? My daughter, your uncle did not give me the money. Why? He said spending money on you is a waste because you are a woman that you belong to another man's family. <laughs> Wait, Mama. My uncle said that spending money on me, Chinwe, is a waste. It is okay, my daughter. Let him say whatever he wants to say. Mouth is meant to talk. For that lesson fee, you will pay for it. For the university, you will go. You will see the four walls of the university. You just say, I will put him to shame. Oh God, who did I offend? He actually said that. Let that not bother you. Not until I know the reason behind this urgent call. Talk to me. Let me be at ease. Yes, brother, talk to us. Since I came back from work, I've not rested. I, I want us to know why you called for this meeting. Um, well, isn't it? My name, Matthew. I asked you people to come. Because there are there is a critical issue we must look at. Kaiwelo Efifia Chubai Uji Kachi Ali Jinariani. I want Matthew and I to break our company. 
you share our company. What? What have you just said? Brother. Why? Is there any problem? No. There is no problem. At least today, there is no problem. But as I look into the future, I... Problems loom. Hmm? Milliard no brought back I for you to pull Lian. Let us try and forestall that problem that is looming. Problem? What what kind of problem are you envisaging here? Principally it has to do with my my son. When you belong on here. I have a load. I have a big problem in my house concerning my son. Matthew, you remember the last time my son dipped his hand into the coffers of the company? He took or stole or misappropriated 10 million naira. That's not a small amount. There are other things and you know it. Yes, sir, I remember. So, my reasoning is this. Two brothers doing very well. Two brothers closely knit. We own this company and we've come over the years. Now, in walks my son. And with his activities, he will soon, soon bring our two heads and click them together, knock them together. He will be a wedge between two brothers. He's going to cause a problem between you and I. So to forestall that, we need to uh, get the experts to look at the company, look at the, uh, the assets and liabilities of the company with a view to sharing the company between us. You go with yours, I go with mine. If tomorrow I need money, I will come to you. You want to give me, you give me. So there will be peace. So if both of you agree, Matthew, if you agree, we get our lawyers to work on this immediately. Brother, have you really cross-examined your heart? Hmm? And see this as the best option? That's the only option available from the depth of my heart. If there is any, you tell us that this is coming from deep, deep, deep inside of me. Brother, you are a senior here and like the father to us, you've heard him talk. What have you to say? Um, I don't see anything wrong with what he has just said. It only goes to show that uh, he's a, a good the man of peace, as we used to know him, as your cherry, as well. Uh, but what of you? Since he's coming in good faith, to me, I think it's it's okay, man. My mind is, uh, yeah. I am much relieved. I am relieved. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you very much, you people have made my day. Oh, ah, brother. Open this drink so that we will toast with it. See you this. No, you go ahead. You are elder brother. What nonsense is this? Who prepared this? Huh? That is our accountant, Chike. 
he brought it to my office and when I went through it, I saw the nonsense that he made there. When I called him to come and take it and prepare it correctly, the next thing he shouted at me and walked out on me. When I called him back, he ignored me. He shouted at you? Yes, brother. Walked out? Yes, brother. Merci. Merci. Anyway, from what I have here, he's incapable of handling that job. You can't defend that position. That's why I brought this case to you. He's fond of doing this thing regularly. Why don't you go back to your office and do a letter? Take a decision on this, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, do a letter, whatever you decide. To demote him. To ask him to leave. Suspend him. To relieve him, whatever you decide. Come on. Okay. You say so, sir. Go on. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Sit down. I called you this night. Come on, get back. Okay. I have gone to many people, asking them to lend me some money to pay for your lesson fee, but nobody agreed to have. So what I am suggesting now is that you will go to that our land across the road. You want us to sell it? Mm -mm. We will go there and plug the remaining oranges and sell it so that you will get some money to be buying in the market and sell as well until when you make money to pay off your lesson fee. Also to save for your university. You will go to the university now. And mm -hmm. Mama, I think you will kill orange. Hmm? How many oranges do I have to hawk before I'll be able to realize money for my lesson fee? Hey, right, Mama. The, 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 the exam is fast approaching, oh. The jam exam is fast approaching. Mm -hmm. I don't want to miss the exam. You will not miss it. That is what I'm saying. That as you are selling the oranges, I will not sit down and fold my hands now. I will be running around too to make sure I, I, I get some money to add to the one you will make. They will pay for your lesson fee. Still save the one for, for your university. Oh? Okay, Mama. I've heard you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. So you can go in now and sleep. Are you not coming with me? I will join you shortly. Go. Dad, what's the meaning of this? 
What is it? I was given a reassignment letter at the office. That's right. Did you sign this? Whose signature is there? Yours, of course, Dad. Then why are you asking if I signed it? My signature is there. Dad, why did you sign it? I signed it to make it authentic. To make it authentic that you've been reassigned. Pulled out of accounts department and posted out. That's what it means. Dad, are you by any way trying to say I don't know my job? Well, do you know your job? Do you? Of course it's it's evident that you don't know your job. Facts speak for themselves. The facts are there for everybody to see. See, as you walk about that company, people are jeering at you. People are laughing at you. People are making mockery at you. You don't know your job. You don't. I sent you to school to read accountancy. You spent the whole time gallivanting about roaming the university. You spent the whole, a better part of the time drinking, whining, dining, womanizing. Oh, loafing about. You came out with an empty skull. I'm ashamed of you. Dad, for your information, you're the president of that company and I'm the vice president of the company because I am your son. So I have the right to choose whatever office I like. Really? Yes. You have the right. You don't have any right to go to anywhere you want in that company. I am the president of that company by virtue of my owning that company and I will move you to where I want you and I will take you out of where I do not want you and that's what I just did for your information if you don't take time I will assign you to head the drivers of the company Dad me yes Chike yes to head the drivers of the company yes me Chike Okay, Dad, from today, henceforth, I am the new president of the company. And you're the vice president. What kind of a man are you? How can you tell your brother to reassign your son from his position in your own company? Why? Why are you doing this? Eh? Please, better tell your brother to cancel that letter and return my son to his position. Else, I will come to that office myself and sort it out anyhow he wants it. Look, Dad, this is totally wrong. I mean, you are the president of that company. So why would you even allow your own younger brother humiliate your son in a company owned by his father? Imagine. <sighs> and I'm very sure I must have told the other staffs what happened. Yes. What a shame. Yes. Mom, Flora, I am totally disappointed at you both. For crying out loud, is this what we should be saying by now? I mean, you all know that uncle wouldn't have been able to carry out that action if daddy didn't give his consent. So, 
this is not the time for all of this. We also know that Chike here is not so good at his job. I mean, he cannot even defend the four years he spent at the university. So what we should be doing now is, you know, talking to daddy to talk to his brother so that Chike can be reinstated back in the company. I mean, Amaka, will you shut up your mouth? One more word from you again, I will give you a dirty slap. Is it me and your siblings you are talking to that way? Eh? Just listen to yourself. Your father reassigned your own blood brother from his position and you are here talking rubbish. We tend to forget that uncle is also a part of the company. I mean, is the company is jointly owned by uncle and daddy, which means he's a director of the company as well. So, you know how the ghost is speak to me? Huh? When I'm consulting with my father, hmm? trying to correct his mistakes, hmm? when I'm trying to take my birthright, you're coming to interrupt. Oh, I'll deal with you. Chicken, what's come over you? Why are you going to deal with it? Your own sister. You will deal with your own sister. You're having friends at your own sister. Is that the way you were brought up? Is that how I brought you up? Listen. Just listen to my voice. You are all supporting chicken. Talking about both of you. Both of you are supporting chicken. Dad! Is, are you not supporting her? Are you not supporting her? This is the only sane voice I have in this family. Hmm? Yes. But never mind, keep supporting him. Chicken, if care is not taken, even that which you have will be taken away from you. If you don't mark up, you are like the decayed tooth that may need to be pulled out to save the rest. Hmm? What is not enough for the rest? When you leave here, take off my shirt. What? Take it off his mind. I didn't give it to you. Hey. Everybody knows me now. My orange is very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. How much are you want? Peeled or peeled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How much is very sweet? And I'll do what I Everybody knows me. Okay. It's very good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> it is very sweet. Tomorrow you look for me. Okay. Thank you. I am old. Okay. When will this problem come to an end? Did you want sweet orange, sweet orange? Apple bagel ball. Sweet 
of sorrow that I will die in this condition Hi. Very sweet Very sweet orange Very sweet Thank you Very good. Um, I have to be on my way now We will be expecting you tomorrow so Hope you come around How can you do it's not your turn to shine. This <laughs> orange. <laughs> mm. Mm. We are expecting to see you tomorrow. Eh? Mm. <laughs> Hope you will come because the orange are talking is very sweet. <laughs> you don't need to beg me. It's mm? my business. Where was the name? <laughs> very, very I'll bring good. much more sweeter one tomorrow. Yes. It's very sweet. Tomorrow, huh? mm. My money, sir. Money. money. Sir, sir. Now my own turn to shine. Give him money. On the poor one. Man, it's your Give money. You don't get money, they rush your orange. It's not a crime. Set to four men and I don't get money. No get money, they rush your orange. No call me poor man. Customer. Don't forget to call to worry, yeah? Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Bring sweet one, no. Sweet one. Sweet one tomorrow. Don't forget. It's orange. John, idiot. You know, fee paper orange. Poor orange. I'll get a paper, poor one. Go to work. I quit. Oh yes. I quit so you and your brother can enjoy your company and your wealth. Quit. That means you resigned your job. I hope you told your mother and uh, Flopsy so that they don't begin to see it as if my brother and I sucked you. Well, that's none of your business, Rag. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, son. It's okay. So now, go out and you will begin to search for jobs. I hope you relish the experience of going out there in the sun, standing in the sun, standing in the rain, being rejected, being refused, searching for jobs. 
good luck, son. What's the lady do? What did you eat? My stomach is just panning me. Yeah. Sweet thing go up on me. I beg. Make an entire side. Go shut to yourself. He has to stop those nonsense. They go with white man. Idiot. Idiot. That's what I'm doing. Customer, our customer. Customer. <laughs> Look, you're welcome. Mm. <coughs> I hope it today already is sweet. Are you getting well? This one is very sweet. Very sweet. Sweeter than the ones I've been bringing before. Oh my God! In the shop. Can you get test? Oh my God! 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 Oh! Hey! Where are you? You are too much. It's sweet, very sweet. <laughs> 200 naira. Yeah. Yeah. Give me 100 naira. 100 naira. Now you're going to move. Oh my god. Hey! The way. Did I give you from this one? Come get better. I'm going to have a no. What is the same thing? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope it's sweet like this one. Uh, uh, hi, trust me. Come so far, come so far. Oh my god, oh my god. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, give me money, give me money, give me money. Give me money. Thank you, thank you. Mm. See you. Uh, wait, though. Mm? Please. Uh, my money is not complete. My money is supposed to be 300 now. You bought the one of 200. He bought the one of 100 now. So but you gave me 200. You made how much? 100 now. Sorry, sorry. Oh, come and collect this. Come inside and collect this. Yeah. Sorry. Now. Okay. My come inside. Come, come. come inside. Inside? Inside. Yes. Where's my trouser now? Did you? Ah, where's that trouser? I dropped it there. Come, come. Come inside. Ah. Hey, hey. Patawa. Come someone. I dropped it here. Come on. Eh? My trouser. Come on. Come on.
she back so early with this quantity of unsold oranges. Chimu. Chimu and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you came back so early. Eh? And why you didn't sell this um your oranges finished? What happened? Oh, Mama, you're back. Yes. Hmm? I am tired and I am feeling sick. You are sick? What is happening to you? My body, my joints, everywhere is pain in me. I think you, it's like you have malaria. Huh? Don't worry, I will give you some money. You will go to the chemist and uh, buy this um, malaria drugs. Hmm? You will be fine, don't worry. Go in and get me water, let me drink. Oh. What is happening? It's the body pain. Let me get you the water. Chiwen, why are you walking like that? Why this? 